all heard it. It's always darkest before the dawn. You have to push through the hard to get to the place you're trying to get to. You have to understand you are on your own unique journey and your truth is going to be unique to you. So as you go down that journey of trying to be authentically who you were made to be and find your truth, there's going to be so many people that do not agree or do not align with that path. Here's what I know. I know that until you make a decision that you no longer want to feel how you feel or you no longer want to think the way that you think or you no longer want to have the kind of results or no results that you have until you make that decision that, you know what? I know I don't feel great. I know I doubt myself. I know I've had a lot of bad things happen. I know there's a lot that I regret, but damn it. You've got to start with wanting something better for yourself. And then I personally think the most important thing is to start acting like the person who has the things that you want right now, even though you don't feel like it. The reason why a lot of people won't become who they want is because they're too attached to who they've been. So I was willing to let go of everything and everybody. See, another reason why people won't get there is because the doorway is for you to fit through. You're trying to carry everybody else through because you're trying to be rescue 911. And you got to rescue you first. Some ups and you're going to have some downs. But during those down moments, that's where the growth takes place. That's where the work is. You may have a lack of confidence because you just haven't been showing up for yourself. Your words have no meaning. We don't have to stay in the past. We don't even have to go too far into the future in our mind. We come back to this present moment and we say, you know what, my presence is perfection and my presence has purpose. And yeah, I haven't been showing up for myself. <sighs> yeah, there's been a lack of accountability. But you know what? I have another step. I have another breath. And in this next step and then this next breath, I make change. The quote goes like this. One day, day one. One day, or day one. How do you know what you're used to is better than the light that's to come? When life starts changing, when life starts moving, when things start evolving, when people start changing, when you start growing, oftentimes if we've had a set of great experiences in our past, when it says, how do you know the life that you're used to is better than the life that's to come? And so when you think about the life that's to come, new normal, right? A transition, having to pivot, having to make different decisions, having to make a new career choice, having to close the door in a chapter on another career. How do you know the life that you're used to is better than the life that's to come, right? Embrace it, it goes together. One is glorious, one is wretched, right? It goes together, man. And when you feel the highest pressure, the highest stress, and the highest anxiety, when you're in the pursuit of something greater, it's a good indication that you're actually on the right path. It's a position that you want to actually be in because once you push through this time of extreme stress, pressure, and anxiety, on the other side is the promised land that you've been looking for. The biggest mistake a person can do right now, no matter in which situation you are, is to give up. You might not reach the best, best version of yourself in this lifetime, but the better one than you are right now. I have got to decide what it is that you want the future to look like. And the more specific and the more clear you are, the more likely it's going to happen. The more you understand of what that moment is that you're trying to create and why you're trying to create it, and then you now can build the plan and the strategy to get there. Now you look at that end and the result and what you want it to be and how you're going to feel and what it's going to mean to you. And you just keep visualizing yourself there the entire step of the way. The entire step of the way and and it is going to eventually reveal itself all the things that you need to do in order to get there self-confidence is self-trust and it's self-confidence is the process of keeping the promises that you make to yourself 
So the way we begin to build our self-confidence up is we start setting promises up with ourselves that we keep. You need to begin to make promises to yourself, set up the game early where you can keep them, stack that stuff and create momentum. And what happens is you will begin to build a reputation with yourself that you can trust you. What does it mean to live an infinite life? Clearly our lives are finite. We're born, we die, we come, we go. But life is infinite. The game of life will continue with us or without us. Which means every single one of us has a choice. We don't get to choose the nature of the game. Life is infinite. We don't even get to choose if we want to play in the game or not. Once you're born, you're in it. We get one choice. Do you want to play with a finite mindset? Or do you want to play with an infinite mindset? To play with a finite mindset means waking up every day and say, I'm going to be the best. I'm going to be better than everybody else. And when you die, you take none of it with you. Or we can choose to live our lives with an infinite mindset, which means I'm going to leave this world in better shape than I found it. It means I'm going to devote my life to see that those around me rise. And we know that we're living with an infinite mindset because our obsession is seeing that we have an impact on the lives of the people around us.